I am Stephen Fair, and I am running for associate and president for the next academic year. I think involvement union is a valuable thing, but in and of itself, it should not be the dominant consideration in one's qualification in the election for associate and president. This is because student policy as exists today in St. Andrews is still, I think, too narrow and isn't fully reflective of student life as it exists in the university. To really capture the student life and their needs and aspirations, you need to get out there and meet the students themselves where they are at the occasions and events where they congregate and really listen to and hear and understand their concerns. The Asian World Ban on the Center of Canada is ending this year and that provides a golden opportunity for the incoming association president to really take meaningful steps to increase housing supply for students and encourage and making sure that HMO lessons are issued properly and on time. Another way of making sure housing supply expands to meet student demand is to encourage local developers to invest in producing housing in St. Andrews wherever the opportunity may lie. The role of the social president can be to create a forum where students, academics, and local developers can all meet and figure out what is needed to get the housing market in this going again. I am also a licensed real estate professional, and this gives me a professional perspective from which to view the housing situation in St. Andrews. The fact that St. Andrews has so few students with underprivileged backgrounds has long been an embarrassment to a great institution. If elected, I would create an ambassador scheme for students to get involved in going out to local five schools and making sure students from there apply and get to know St. Andrews and offer guidance and, in a sense, demystify the process and the institution so more people can get to know about it. If elected, we immediately create an expert steering group comprising academics, students, chaplaincy, as well as practicing professionals who can help figure out more and more diverse solutions that better address our needs in terms of student mental health and bring about real change and making sure students get the support they need. I would also get out there and encourage successful charities such as COPE to come in here and bring their expertise into the mental health and help lift the level of mental health provision in the university. As well, one of the most successful student organizations is Nightline, which has done a wonderful job providing mental health support to students. I would give them greater support, making sure they do a good job. If elected, they will implement a system incentivizing halls to reduce their energy bills. This will be done on a year-to-year -year basis so that halls with older infrastructure are not penalized in comparison to newer residents with newer infrastructure. In this way, this reduction-based approach will ensure that energy is lowered and, uh, and really the environment is being helped. In general, town-down relations are quite good, but isolated incidents, especially at late night, can often cause disturbances to local residents. If elected, I would create a social media campaign outlining good practice and making sure that disturbances to local residents are outlined and reminds them to, to behave accordingly. As well, I would liaise with local council and residents to make sure their concerns are heard and included in consideration in terms of so any social behavior. My name is Steve Fan. I'm running for a social president and thank you for your time.